Hi! I'm so happy you're here. I can't wait to share this with you. Today I'm doing two looks with the Makeup Just For Fun and Odin's Eye Flora Story palette. It looks like this. The fourth and final video I'll be doing with this Perfect World collection from Odin's Eye featuring three amazing creators. It's kind of sad to be honest. I thoroughly enjoyed all of my time with all of these palettes and I'm gonna savor the time I have left with this palette as well. I do have videos on the other two palettes and also a video of all three of them using them together for a very, very colorful look. These are limited edition, so get them while you can. At the time of filming this, the Flora Story palette is sold out and the last restock is going to be on March 25th, so that is coming up fast. The Trio Bundle is also sold out. I don't know if that will be back when the Flora Story palette gets restocked or not. I couldn't find any information on that. And the other two palettes are still available. So if you are on the fence about these, now is the time to get off the fence, my friend. I'll have all of the information down below in the description box, including Amanda's code that you can use for 10% off. It's not gonna work on these palettes, but if you choose to get anything else, it will work on anything else on the site. I'm so excited to do these looks because this is probably my favorite color story out of the bunch. This is the one I was initially the most drawn to. We have greens, we have purples, we have some good old fashioned grunge, and I am loving it. So let's get on with it because I'm dying to put this on my face. But first, if we haven't met before, hi, my name is Sherry. Welcome to Makeup Therapy. If you are a makeup enthusiast like myself who enjoys playing with makeup as a hobby, then you are in the right place. So sit back, relax, forget about everything else for just a little while while we play with some makeup together and playing with incredible indie releases with lots of color and sparkle and shimmery goodness just like this is something I love to do. So if that is content you love to see, then subscribe for more. Before we get things started, let's take a look at some swatches to see what we're going to be working with. I'm going to do the mattes on the back of my hand, the shimmers on the palm of my hand because I think this shows off the shimmers a little bit better. And then at the end, I will insert a clip of the entire color story together so you can see them all working together. All right, onto the swatches. This one is called Dawn. This is like a choppery, very smooth multi-chrome. This one has some pink and some gold and orange, it looks. Yeah, orange, pink, and gold, and it has a transparent base. Perfect topper for any of these other shimmers. Next up, we have Shroom, which is a warm, kind of taupey color. Our first matte in the palette. Oh, I'm gonna clean off my hand here. You could almost use this one for like a contour shade. It's not too warm. Maybe a bronzer. Our most neutral shade in the palette. Next up, we have this beautiful purple shimmer here called Magnolia. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is a purple shimmer with silver, silver sparkle. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. That's probably my favorite shimmer in the palette. I love this one so much. So this is a cool purple with silver and kind of like a, a white gold sparkles. It's so stunning. I just want to bathe in this color. Next up, we have Sage. This is probably my most loved kind of grungy green. Oof, I love grungy tones. This is perfect. Next up, we have a shimmer called Lush. This is, it has like a, it has a green base, but then it looks like we have some turquoisey shimmer in there purple and blue shimmer and a little bit just a hint of some mintiness maybe that is a beautiful green i think this is really a nice unique shimmer i don't think i have anything else close to this very beautiful then we have another grungy green matte called clover this one is a warmer green oh gosh Mm, I do love, I love this color story so much. Next up, we have a shimmer called Best Buds, which is a very light green shimmer, kind of goldy. And there is some silver sparkle in that one as well. Oh, such a pretty shade. Next up, we have a purple matte, like a dusty kind of purple. Look how beautiful. 
Oh, I forgot to say this before, but I will also have Amanda's reveal video in the description box that you can go check that out if you haven't seen that yet. Oh my goodness, such a beautiful shade. Then we have another green shimmer called Misty. Wow, I definitely see some gold shimmer, some silver maybe, silver and gold. I think she said this one has silvery blue sparkle. I don't know if I can get that to show, but regardless, still a stunning, stunning shade. I'm noticing these two look pretty similar on camera, I think, on the screen. They are not. This one is much more gold. This one is much more green. They're not, they're not really as similar as it is showing up here. And then last we have a deeper purple matte. Oop, whoopsie. <laughs> Here we go. These are all of our mattes. We do have a pretty good uh, like mid-tone and deepening shades in here. If you take a look at these in the pan, they are showing up as a pretty good depth, I think. Now I'll go ahead and show you the clip of all of them together. First, you'll see them with no flash, and then I'll dim the lights and turn um, turn the flash on so it shows off the sparkle, the sparkly goodness, just a little bit better. All right, we are primed and ready to go. For the first look, I'm going to do kind of a halo eye. I'm going to start off with the deepest purple called Orchid. And I'm just going to put that in my whole crease area, making it very rounded. Now, the brush I'm using is a Morphe M456. It's just a tapered brush. This is building up to be a really nice, deep, rich purple, and it is really smooth. That applied beautifully and built beautifully. And yeah, it's just, it's really smooth and buttery. Now that I have the depth I want, I'm just gonna go around and smudge out the edges a little bit. Okay, now we got the edges softened. I'm gonna go in with the other purple mat. This one here called Azalea. Did I completely forget to say the name of this one during the swatches? I think I did. It's called Azalea. I'm just gonna blend this out with that sh lighter purple shade. I'm just gonna use the same brush for that. This one too is just super smooth. It is so, so easy to work with. That took no time at all. I'm just gonna go back and forth now until I get the colors as saturated as I want them and blended the way I want them. And then we will move on. All right, I have that where I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a half moon cut crease to be able to set us up for that halo eye. Okay, I think that's close enough to the shape that I want it. Now we're going to go into the greens. I'm going to dip into the darker shade Sage first, and I'm going to use my Ruffer 02 to place it just on the inner and the outer corners. Actually, I think I'm going to take something a little smaller because I want to get right up to the line, but I don't want to go over it, so I have to be a little bit more careful. All right, take something smaller and a little more precise. This is the Sigma Smudger. It's an E21. Very small. Place it in the outer corner right up to that line. I want to pack it on and get this, give it as much depth as I can. The shade too is really soft and smooth. I love it. All right, now I'm going to go into the shimmers. I am going to use some NYX glitter primer and I'm going to use the same brush to place the NYX and the shimmers. If you didn't see my last video on this, it was with the Lauren May Beauty palette, the Sea Talk. Um, I kind of sprayed on one side and used glitter primer on the other side. And I think even though I initially thought the sprayed side or spraying it earlier in my video before that made them look better. After seeing them side by side in that Sea Talk video, I think the NYX glitter primer actually does make them look a little better, but they're stunning no matter what you do. If you spray it, if you just put them on dry, they don't need the glitter primer to look amazing, but it does make them look even better. So I'm still gonna use it. So first on the outer parts, I'm gonna use the deeper one called Misty. I'm placing it right next to that green. We're gonna kind of blend them together later, but wow, look at that. So beautiful. Onsai's shimmers are always so special. Wow, that's just beautiful. Now I'm gonna take the lighter green shimmer called 
best buds, this one right here. I'm gonna put that in the middle. These do look pretty similar, but you can definitely see in the middle it's a lot brighter. All those the shimmers are just so good. They're so beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take Misty, the one on the outer parts here, just dry, just to kind of drag it into the mat. You can definitely see when you put it on over the mat, dry with it like a little more sparse, definitely giving it a deeper tone. Makes it look like we have three different shimmer shades instead of two. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm also pulling it in dry towards the middle a little bit just to kind of blend those two shimmers in together a little bit more. I did get some fallout. Not terrible, and it wiped away super easily. I'm going to go ahead and mimic like our, our purple here on the lower lash line. So I'm just going to place the deepest one closest to the lash line and blend it out with the lighter one. I'm going to use my rougher 03. All right, that is all I'm doing with the palette here. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Before I finish it off, I need something in the inner corner. So I'm going to take that lightest screen shimmer. Is it this? Yeah, that one. I'm going to pop that in the inner corner with, I think I'm just going to use my rougher 03. And for that, I am going to spray it. Okay. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Just going to drag it up here a little bit, fluff it out a little bit. Okay, now we're ready to move on. Okay, I'm back. This is the finished look. I really like how this one turned out. I think this could really use a nice like glitter liner to separate the cut crease. But I just wanted to leave it like this for today, but that could really add a little something to spice it up a bit. But I really like this. I'll run through the details very quickly for you. The top liner, I used the NYX Vivid Matte. I really like this one. It went on really smoothly. Covered the shimmer pretty well. Not bad. To tight line the upper, I did use the Laura Mercier Tight Line Cake Eyeliner. It's one of my favorite things to use up there because it doesn't transfer down onto the waterline. And on the waterline, I have this Wonder 2 Liner, Super Stay Liner. These are really good. I cannot for the life of me find a shade name on this. It's kind of goldy a little bit. I got these at Ulta. I don't think they're sold there anymore, which is sad because I really like these and I kind of want more. The lashes I used are from BH Cosmetics. They're kind of spiky. I really like this style. I have no idea if there are still even any lashes left out of the things that are still available on the BH website, but if uh, they are, these are M204. I like these a lot. You can also get ones very similar to this, if not exactly the same, from Shop Miss A. The band is really, really, really thin. They were not super fun to put on, so. But I do like the style a lot. Bottom lashes, I use the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I like this one for the bottom lashes. It does pretty well. It's not bad. That is everything, so let's get started on the second look. All right, for this look, I'm going to do what winged out, so I'm going to use some tape. I actually have some real cosmetic tape this time. That is way too long, but that's okay. I'm going to start with the greens. I want to use a fluffy brush for this. I'm going to use my Refer 01. That's what it looks like. I'm going to go into the deeper one called Sage. Let's start with that. Oh, it's lifting. <laughs> I'm just going to fade it out towards the top. I'm going to take the lightest sh green shade called Clover to blend the top with. I really want that faded towards the top. I don't want it like a harsh wing line there. These greens, this is moving around all over the place. Let me see. And I have some fallout because I did go in pretty heavy. I was just going to say these are very, they're pretty powdery. Get a new piece of tape and try this again. See if we can wipe this fallout off. Yeah, that's not bad. That wiped away mostly pretty easily. I should have known that was going to happen because I did pick it up and put it back down a couple of times. It doesn't really have to be exact because it'll we can just fill in, fill it in. Anyway, close enough. I'm just going to go back in and intensify these a little. All right, I'm just going to flip it over and blend the top out there and deepen up this corner a little bit. Pack a little more on. I have noticed I don't think this green builds quite as nicely as the purple does just because I don't think it's really getting much deeper the more you pack on. I think it pretty much is going to stay exactly how it was the first time around. Or is that purple one really deepened up quite a bit? It just feels like the green one 
doesn't. I'm just gonna grab a clean fluffy brush to blend that out a little more. Then I'm gonna switch to this Spectrum A12. It is pretty dense and I'm going to take, I'm gonna take Azalea, the lighter purple, and I'm gonna put that in the front crease here. Just kind of fade it out towards the green, not really blended much into it, keeping it kind of light up in the front. I love how these look next to each other. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, that's it for that. Really super simple. Now moving on to the shimmers, and I'm not gonna do a cut crease or clean it off or anything. This is a pretty simple look, easy to do, and it looks so pretty. I love these shades so much. Okay, let's take this off. Ooh, went a little, <laughs> got a little out of hand up there. Let me grab, I'm gonna grab this sponge thing with the sharp side and just pull it this way to get rid of that excess there. Perfect, does a wonderful job. I'm gonna go ahead and put down some more NYX glitter primer. I'm gonna use my Morphe M152. I'm just gonna use the same brush for the shimmers as well. Go ahead and slap on the glitter primer. Okay, on the outer part, I'm gonna start with this green shimmer that we haven't used yet, this one up here, called Lush, and I'm gonna put that right out here. Ooh, look at that one. Wow, that's so beautiful. Look at that shade. I do feel like this is a pretty unique shade. That is one thing that all three of these ladies <laughs> that collabed on this collection, something they all did really well is finding shades that are unique. Oh, I love this one so much. All right, now I'm actually gonna go into that cool toned purple shimmer up here. That is the Magnolia shade. That's gonna go next. I don't know how weird these are gonna look together, but I wanted to use them, so. <laughs> no, that's really pretty. Ooh, I like that. Oh my goodness. I love this purple one even more now that it's on my lid. I'm gonna blend it into that green a little bit. While we're here, I'm gonna take that green again and pull that a little further to blend it into the matte a little more. Probably gonna have to go over it with the matte a little to really get them to blend. Okay, that's not bad. All right, now I'm gonna take that iridescent shimmer, the first one that we haven't touched yet. That one is called Dawn. That is what I'm going to put right in the front here. And I think that's what I'm gonna pop in the inner corner as well. I'm just going to take my Ruffer 21. This is a pretty flat and smooth brush. We'll see how it picks that up. Cause this shade is very smooth. Oh my goodness. Wow, that looks fiery. Is that how it's showing up on camera? It's looking very fiery orange in person, but wow, this shade is beautiful as well. All of them are. Holy smokes, and I, <laughs> why not? Let's just carry it through the top over the whole thing. I love all of these shades together and all of these shimmers together. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna use that in the inner corner. I'm gonna use a small sponge tip actually to put it in the inner corner. No glitter primer on, didn't spray it, just going on dry. I love that, I love it. All right, let's go ahead and do the lower lash line. I think I'm gonna focus on the green mattes on the lower lash line as well with that bright green shimmer and one of the lighter ones, I think, towards the front. All right, I'm gonna use the Ruffer 03 per usual for the under or the lower lash line. I'm not gonna pull this deep one in too far. That's probably far enough. Let me get in the divot there. We'll blend it out with the lighter green and pull that lighter green in further. Most of the way, I guess. Then I'm gonna take that green shade we used here, Lush, and I'm gonna spray that and put it here. Mm, hold on. Let's start with the lighter one in the front, the lighter shimmer. I'm gonna use the lightest green shimmer for that. The Best Buds, Best Buds one. I am gonna spray it. Get those two together. Ooh, after using this, it is holding my first initial reaction is still holding true. I think this is my favorite out of the three. I love, love to the other two. Don't get me wrong. I love all of them, but this one, this one is just carving out its own little place in my heart. I love it. I'm going to do some more of the light green matte to blend these out, but wow. What in the world am I gonna use in the waterline for this one? Okay, I guess that's the look with the palette. I'll go ahead and get this finished off and be right back. 
Okay, I'm back. Here is the final look. I really love this look. I love it a lot. I <laughs> very unexpectedly love all of these shimmer shades together. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. I love this palette so much. But we'll talk about that in a second. Let me run through my details just very quickly. Uh, for the top liner, what did I? Oh, I used the Revolution Game of Thrones liner. Just, I saw this and realized I don't think I had even used it. It's fine. It's fine. It's nothing great, <laughs> but it is fine. I tight lined the upper liner or upper lash line with the same Laura Mercier cake line tight liner. The lashes are Eye Lure Extreme Cat Eye. I love this style. I really like this style. I think it could stand to be a little bit more dramatic on the, just like on the outer quarter even. They're a little bit sparse, but you know, very <laughs> angled. So I guess that's the trade-off. That's okay. I still really like them. The waterline, I really kind of wanted to bring this color down into here. So I used this ColourPop gel liner. What is the shade on this? It's like a coral. What? Gobi, maybe? That's what's down there on the lower lashes. Um, I used the Glam Light Scooby-Doo Batscara just to get some use out of it because I don't like it on my top lashes. Uh, I don't love it in general. So that's everything that's going on here. Let's talk about the palette quickly. Obviously, my thoughts are not going to be a surprise. I adore this palette. I love the color story. I love these shimmers. Um, they're just, again, nothing I wouldn't expect from Odin's Eye. They're very special. They're really beautiful. The formulas are beautiful. Um, pretty consistent quality with Odin's Eye's other products as well as the other palettes in this collection. I think the girls did, the ladies, the women, did a fantastic job choosing these color stories and giving us some unique shades and just beautiful color stories overall. And like I said, I, it's my first impression, first seeing these palettes holds true. I love this one the most. I love a lot of color, but I also love grunge and I also love green and purple together. And this one with these really striking shimmers, it just takes a cake for me. But which one did you like the, the most? If you haven't seen them all, obviously just another peek at this one then we have the planet spirit palette super duper colorful but not really any depth and then we have the sea talk palette gorgeous <sighs> these are beautiful i i really love these neutrals in this as well but all of them are so, so, so good. Which one is your favorite though? I really want to know. I'm really curious to know everyone's thoughts and, and kind of like what other people are thinking and why they like one color story over another. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. So are you getting any of these? Have you gotten any of these? Are you still kind of riding that fence even though you don't have much time to stay on that fence? You're gonna have to get off really quick, really quick or they're gonna be gone and you might regret it. To see the other videos I have with this collection, check out my Odin's Eye playlist up here next. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I had a blast with this palette. I hope you had fun too. I'll see you in the next one.